Hey, this is Terrell Pauly, and in this video, I want to explain the difference between PAX and DICOM. Not to be confused with CATS and Decepticons. So now, if you are new to healthcare IT and to PAX, this video is for you. But if you're not new, this video is probably not for you, and you should probably leave. I'm only joking, kidding. You, you can stay around if you want to review too as well. So let's get started. So now the differences between, so let's define real quickly PAX and DICOM. So PAX is an image management system that stores, forwards, uh, acquires, manipulates uh, medical images. That's it, medical images. Now, uh, in, in, in the, the basics. And now DICOM is a standard form of communication for uh, for storing, for um, receiving, sending medical images, right, between different medical systems. So an analogy that I've liked using, I've used before in the past is, let's say that you and I, we both speak English. Now, and so we we we're able to communicate with one another back and forth uh, via the English language. So, in that instance, in this example, uh, we can look at we can say that PAX is let's say that you and I are both PAX systems, or you and I are both DICOM systems, right? So we we're, we're able to communicate with one. So we are both PAX systems then we need a form to communicate with one another and that's the English language and that's what DICOM is. So the DICOM uh, standard is a, is, a, is a bridge that allows us to communicate with one another. So you think about it that way if, if that makes it easier. So for when you are, um, so when you are thinking about PAX and DICOM and the difference, you can say from people when you when a person, when people, when two people both speak, speak the same language, such as the English language, uh, the, the people are the actual systems, right? The, uh, they are the PAC systems, they are, or uh, they are the DICOM systems, or they are the medical devices, right? And the, the uh, DICOM standard is the actual, uh, the actual language that we are speaking to one another, the English language. And that's the difference between PAX and DICOM. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that's, um, that that uh, quick video gives a clear uh, explanation between the differences between the two concepts. And I hope it was helpful. Now, just really quick, if uh, I'll actually give you an extra two points or extra three points if you can tell me which, uh, which the name of the Decepticon that was in the video um, that popped up earlier. So, extra three points if you can tell me below in the comments who that was and uh, if you know. So, besides that, I think that's, that's about it. Uh, if you like this video, just give it a th thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions about what I just stated, or if you'd like to see any future videos in the future, future videos in the future, yeah, you can actually just uh, leave a comment below what you'd like to see and anything else that you'd like to say. So, again, my name is Terrell Pauly. You guys take care. See you.